In this demonstration, we will continue with React.js and we'll look at embedding expressions with JSX. Once again, I have an HTML template opened on the left of your screen that's opened up in Notepad++. On the right of your screen, there's a Chrome browser rendering the HTML you see on the left and we will be making changes to that HTML document. As of right now, we do have some script tags between lines 13 and 25 that will change. And between lines 5 and 7, I have gone ahead and connected to the various libraries that we've been using throughout the series. Also on the HTML document, I have two div tags already ID'd as root 1 and root 2 on lines 11 and 12 respectively. We will be using those div tags to display content from our JSX code. The code that I have on the screen right now, you may have seen at a, in another example. On line 14, I have a class, it's called greet, which is essentially a component. That component is returning on line 16 a, a mixture of variables and placeholders for, or a placeholder for, uh, for content. So think of anything inside of those braces as a placeholder for the values of variables that we will work out eventually. Well, actually on line 20, we are actually working out what that variable is supposed to be. The variable is called SS and it has a value of Skillsoft. So on lines 21 and 22, what we're saying is that we're going to access the root element, which is on line 11, but we'll pass to that root element a value, which happens to be Skillsoft. So on line 16, when that entire statement is printed on the browser screen, we're not going to get hello from and then open curly braces. We're going to get whatever this dot props dot SS works out to be. In this case, it's Skillsoft. So on the Chrome browser, what you're seeing is hello from Skillsoft, which is which is uh, this dot props dot SS being evaluated and returning Skillsoft. So to take this example a little bit further, between lines 13 and 14, I will make some space there and I will insert a constant. The name of that variable will be country and I'm going to apply some value to it. So let's put a value inside of country. Now on line 17, I can now perform concatenation just like in regular JavaScript. So I will concatenate what we have already with some other, well, well in this case, it's going to be a space. And then I'll, I will concatenate that with another variable, which we just 